Hey, while you in the first five seconds of the video, go ahead, like and subscribe. Church will teach that this Bible is for everybody, right? They love quoting John 3.16, right? So God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son, and whoever shall believe on him shall have eternal life, right? That's what they say, right? Just say that this Bible is for everybody, right? Read this. The book of Joel 2 and verse 27. And ye shall know that I am in the midst of Israel, and I am the Lord, your God, and none else. Did y'all hear that? Did y'all hear that? When he said you're a special people, you so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans, yeah. you're a special person unto him. serving our enemies because you said in everything right right read in hunger so in hunger whenever we hungry like at walgreens they sell food over there we go there and get us food right so and who, who owns walgreens yeah and what color is that what nation what nation what nation is that caucasian so-called white man really and in thirst and at first, we go over there and get water. Hey, brother, hey, brother, let me ask you a quick question. Quick question. You going over to Walgreens, get some water? Oh, Read it. And at thirst. And at thirst. So when we get thirsty, we go to our enemies to get water, even though they fall out the sky for free. But they made a law that you can't harvest rainwater, right? You can't even dig a well in your own yard. So you in, in servant of your enemies, Read really? And in nakedness. And in clothing. We got to go to the clothing store to get them. I mean, we got some black owners that may have a closed line, but they still have to go to their enemies to get the touchdown, right? Read. And in want of all things. What? In want of all things. Mom, in want of all things. What's in want of all things? Exactly. You have a baby, it's born. You get a birth certificate. Who you get that from? The so-called white man. You uh, a, a family member passed away. You get a death certificate. Who you get that from? You want a driver's license. Who you get that from? If you want to go to college, where do you go and, and, and uh, attend college at? We have a couple schools. But the so-called white man. To get on this bus right here, you got a bus pass, right? Who do you think gave you that? So-called white man. Read that part again. In want of all things. In want of all things. In want of all things. And that's how God said we're going to serve our enemies. Come on. And he shall put a yoke of iron upon thy neck until he has destroyed thee. See that right there? See the yoke of iron? That's in the pipe. Read that part again. And he shall put a yoke of iron upon thy neck until he had destroyed thee. So, who put these yokes of iron on thy neck, Marvin? Exactly, the same society that's, that's beating us down today. They ain't beating us down physically no more. But look at, the, look at our neighborhoods. Are we the last hire? You know, uh, they, they got a law that they say they got to keep one, at least one black person in their in operation. So they can have one of us in there, you know. But they still beat us down today. We're the last hire as the first fire. You can have more qualifications than a so-called white man, and, and he'll get the job before you. So we still being beat down to this day by this so-called society. So what we out here to do is to teach our people who they are according to the Bible and to give up living like the white man. Because they feel us in such a, a, a decided state, state of mind that we follow everything that they do. We like robots. What's Monday, Harlem? For who? For whose society? Do they, do they consider us part of their society if we one thirds of a man? If, if, if we was all 
keep it at uh, two dollars. If we was all equal, if this society was for everybody on the earth, why are our neighborhoods the worst? Why are our schools the worst? Why in some of our cities you can't even drink the water? Why do the police patrol our neighborhoods? You don't see that over in the white neighborhood. You don't see that over there in the Chi uh, Asian neighborhood, the Arabic neighborhood, the East Indian neighborhood. You don't even see it over there in the African neighborhood. But over here where we live, so-called black Hispanics, you're going to see the police clockwork. They got schedules, or they got to they got to the block. And it's just put us in, uh, in holes. Because they put all the drugs in our communities, don't they? We don't, we don't own no uh, drug deals. We don't own no, no gun stores, manufacturers. Man, we don't know how to make switches. They put that stuff in our neighborhood. But see, yeah, that's why, you know, you said the society is everybody. This society ain't everybody. And they ain't the way God intended it to be. God chose so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans out of everybody on the earth. But because we don't want to keep his law, statutes, commandments, we don't want to listen to the Bible, thus saith the Lord, and not the way these pastors teach it, we at the bottom of society. But this is what God says about you. Deuteronomy 7 and 6, For thou art a holy people unto the Lord thy God. The Lord thy God hath chosen thee to be a special people unto himself, above all people that are upon the face of the earth. You hear that, Mom? That's it. You got the time to hear, hear, hear the greatest word ever. Greatest word ever since we got fly. Hey, bro, across the street. Let me, hey, listen to this, bro. Listen. For thou art a holy people. God said you are a holy people. You so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans are separate from everybody else. Read. Unto the Lord thy God. You holy unto the Lord our God. The Lord thy God has chosen thee to be a special people unto himself. A what? A special people unto himself. Hey, bro, did you know that God said you special to him? Did you know that? He said you special. You so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans, you're special to the, word, to, the, to the Lord, our God. Not the God of everybody, our God. And our God is the God of this Bible. That's right. We, a special people unto himself, above all people, equal, above all people, the same, above all people. Oh, did you hear that? Above all people. Bro, you hear that? Above all people. You sisters at the bus stop, y'all hear that? Above all people. We are above all people. The Asians, Africans, the Arabics, the white man, we're above all people. And who else? Above all people that are upon the face of the earth. God said we're above all people that are upon the face of the earth. That's right. You ever heard that, brother? Because you know, we're the best at basketball, right? We're the best at football. We're the best at dancing. We're the best at singing. We're the best at whatever we set our minds to be. If we want to start our own business, right, bro? We're the best at that. We'll take over any business industry if we set our mind to it. But God said that we did it again. For the Lord thy God, sorry, for thou art a holy people, you so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans, God said you are a chosen people. Unto the Lord thy God, the Lord thy God have chosen thee to be a special people. You so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans are a special people. The special. That's why you're good at what you do. That's why we're the best at baseball, soccer, football, all that. We're the best. We, a special people unto himself, above all people that are upon the face of the earth. He said unto himself. So did you know this? The God of this Bible is only for the so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans. Did y'all know that? Because the church is teaching that this Bible is for everybody. Get that in uh, Joel 2:27. Uh, 
the church will teach that this Bible is for everybody, right? They love quoting John 3.16, right? So God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son, and whoever shall believe on him shall have eternal life, right? That's what they say, right? To say that this Bible is for everybody, right? Read this. The book of Joel 2 and verse 27. And ye shall know that I am in the midst of Israel, and I am the Lord, your God, and none else. Did y'all hear that? Did y'all hear that? When he said you're a special people, you so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans, yeah. you're a special person unto him. Read it again. And ye shall know that I am in the midst of Israel. He said you're going to know that he's in the midst of Israel, you so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans. He's in the midst of us. Why? And that I am the Lord your God and none else. The white people. And none else. The Asian people. And none else. The African people. And none else. You are not African American. You are not black American. You are the Israelites, God's chosen right. people. That's right. That's who you are. According to the Bible, thus saith the Lord. Stop listening to these pastors, these reverends, these ministers. They're preaching in these churches. Because all they're doing is teaching you lies. What's your name, bro? My name is Jawan. 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 Okay, come on, come on. You came from over there. So you got to have a question. I don't know. I'm just looking for insight. I don't know. I don't know. Sometimes I'm going to get a conversation. Okay. You with the movement? So, you know you're Israelite then? How do you know you're Israelite? Let me, uh, because I was showing Marlon right here that all these pictures on this sign is true. I showed him about the yokes of iron. Now I'm going to show him about these slave ships right here. Because a lot of people didn't know that the slave ships was in the Bible. So this, this here, when something happened, in the past, it becomes history, right? So if I show you something that happened in the past, that means that this is our history book, right? That means it's our history book, right? So right now, y'all brothers is getting a history lesson of who you are, all right? Read. The book of Deuteronomy 28, verse 68. Hold on, real quick, real quick. I want y'all to introduce one of uh, y'all to one another, because y'all brothers. Y'all brothers, man, but we don't know that. We got to see that we are brothers of each other, man. That's going to cut the hatred down. We got to see that we the same people. That's one of the main things we have to understand. All right, read. Deuteronomy 28 and 68. The Lord shall bring thee into Egypt again with ships. By the way thereof I said unto thee, thou shalt not see it no more again. And there you shall be sold into your enemies, for by men and by women, and no man shall buy you. All right, we're going to start that over and we're going to break it down piece by piece. Because when we're talking the Bible, it tells you precept upon precept. That's how you can get the proper understanding of it. When you're in the churches, they'll read one verse, and they'll give you a whole hour and a half uh, dialogue about themselves. But we're going to keep it thus said the Lord. Read. And the Lord shall bring thee into Egypt again with ships. So the Lord, right there, there's the ships right there. He said he's going to bring us again into Egypt with ships. Uh, if y'all know any history, right? Moses led the children of Israel out of Egypt, right? Right? You see, the Ten Commandments. Yeah, he led them out on foot, right? So if they walked out of Egypt to our land, why would he have to send us back on ships? That's a future prophecy. That's why I'm telling you this is history now. This is a history lesson being taught to you with the Bible. Something you ain't gonna get in church. Read it again. It's verse 68. And the Lord shall bring thee into Egypt again with ships. So he's going to bring us into Egypt again with ships. So now, in order to understand this, we're going to go to another precept to understand what Egypt is. All right? Read. The book of Deuteronomy, chapter 5 and verse 6. I am the Lord thy God, which brought thee out of the land of Egypt from the house of bondage. Read that again. I am the Lord thy God, which brought thee out of the land of Egypt, from the house of bondage. So Egypt is synonymous with bondage. 
So when we go back to Deuteronomy 28 and 68, read. And the Lord shall bring thee into Egypt again with ships. So he brought us into bondage again with ships. And this here picture right here is something to show of the bondage that we were brought into. Get that in Exodus 1 and 11. I'm going to show you the same thing that we were delivered from, we went right back into. But when uh, Moses delivered us from Egypt, right? We was under hard bondage in Egypt. We built pyramids, treasure cities. Hey. Exodus 1 and verse 11. Therefore, they did set over them taskmasters to afflict them with their burdens. And they built for Pharaoh treasure cities, uh, Pathos and Ramses. Read that again. Verse 11. Therefore, they did set over them taskmasters. So when we was in slavery, when they brought us over here from Africa, they didn't have taskmasters coming up with the whips. They had taskmasters. Those were taskmasters to make sure we picked cotton. Read. To afflict them with their burdens. To afflict us with their burdens, because they didn't want to be out there picking the cotton for 14 hours. So they had taskmasters beating our backs, left us looking like that, if we didn't pick it up cotton, or well, if we refused to do it. Same thing they did in Egypt. Come on. And they built for Pharaoh treasure cities. And we built for them treasure cities. We built the White House. We built that. We built the Great Wall of China. We built that. That's right. Go back to Deuteronomy. Precept upon precept so that we can have a true understanding. And what we want to do, man, because pictures paint up. Hey, the picture that the, these things help us to see that this Bible is a true book. That this Bible is a true book, and this is our history book. Read. Deuteronomy 28 and 68. And the Lord shall bring thee into Egypt again with ships. So we're going to come into slavery again with ships. We brought us over from Africa, stacked on top, of one, on top of one another. A lot of us didn't even make it on that trip. We was peeing on each other, shitting on each other. A lot of us didn't make it. Some of us jumped on and didn't even know how to swim. We, we, we'd rather die. And that's the, way our, that's the way our children are today. They'll go out in a blaze of gunfire because they'd rather die than live like this. Ain't nothing new. Read. By the way thereof I spake unto thee, thou shalt not see it no more again. And there, thou shalt not see it no more again. So, if we're from the continent of Africa, has us as a na nation of people been back to Africa? Because our whole land is in that uh, in that uh, land mass. Get that in uh, Galatia. Our whole land is there. But have we went back as a nation of people? That's why I said we'll see it no more again. But a lot of us, when we say we're from Africa, Africa is a continent with many countries. Many countries. Well, I'm going to show you where you're from, brothers. All right? Read. The book of Galatians 4 and 26. But Jerusalem, which is above and is free, which is the mother of us all. Read it again. But Jerusalem, Jerusalem, the land of you so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans. That's your homeland. Read. Which is above and is free. We are supposed to be free. But we can free ourselves mentally by coming out of uh, the way of the white man, by stopping doing his traditions, by keeping him rich, by celebrating his customs. We can come out of that. Read. Which is the mother of us all. It's the mother of us all. The so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans. Jerusalem is the mother of us all. Back to Deuteronomy. Read. The book of Deuteronomy 28, verse 68. And the Lord shall bring thee into Egypt again with death. And find it. By the way thereof, I, sorry. By the way thereof, I speak unto thee. Thou shalt not see it no more again. We won't see Jerusalem no more. And there ye shall be sold unto your enemies. What happened to us when they brought us off the slave ship? All of your age, brother. I know you seen. You seen that new version of Ruth for T.I.? What about uh, 12 years of slave? All right. How old are you? 28. 28. So you, they, you, they, they took the history out of the school system yet. But they're working on that. They're working on taking all this out of the school system. Why do you think that is? They don't even want us to, bruh, they want us to think we was made here in America. Well, the nigga was made here in America. 
But nigga, that hate each other, we will stay here in America. Because we didn't originally hate one another, we loved each other. Because we knew we was brothers. And we saw Christ in one another, because Christ is a black man. Alright? Read that again. And there you shall be sold unto your enemies, for bond men and bond women. So we were sold when we came, when they took us off their ships. For bond men and bond women. You know, our, our families were separated at that time, right? That's how you know we all related. Say, say your kids were sold to a slave master in Virginia and you here in Mississippi. And then you have some more kids and they get sold to somebody in Louisiana. That's still your bloodline, ain't it? That's how you know we are related, man. Huh? We have to see that when we see each other, man. If a brother step on your shoe, is that, is that something? The put of the devil, man? That's sick. That's hatred. If a brother bump into you and knocks him out your head, is that something to put him to death for? If, if, if somebody say something to you in a rap song, is that something to put him to death for? Y'all see the levels of hatred that we have for one another? Those are levels of hatred, right? They run deep in our community. Deep! Do you know drill music started here in Chicago? And now it's all over the country, all over the world. All over the world, people are emulating what people do here in Chicago. Okay. So, huh? Different factions of oppression. It is, but you know what? Any so-called black, Hispanic, and Native American, they feeling. I don't care where they at in the world, they feeling the oppression. They feeling the whip on their back to this day, like we do. Nation is men leading by example. Nation is family. Nation is community. Nation is children with role models.